Hello, hello, hello. Happy Wednesday. Good afternoon. So hang on a second. My, my, why my stuff don't ever want to cooperate? All right. Bear with me, guys. Okay. So anyway, hello. My name is Kelly McRae. For those of you that just might be happening upon me. Um, and I was trying to figure out where I could see your comments, but apparently my software does not want to cooperate with me. Anyway, my name is Kelly McRae and I am a success strategist. And basically what I do is I help you generate ideas that generate income. So today I decided that I would come on here and share with you guys um, some ideas that maybe you haven't thought about that will help you to teach courses. So let me tell you guys that for me personally, um, if you don't know who I am, why are you on my channel? No, I'm teasing. Why are you on my, on my page, man? No, welcome. I'm glad that you're here. And if you find value here, please make sure you bring other people to the page. So one of the things that I do um, is I create content and I create courses, and that helps me to generate passive income. Um, for those of you that don't know me, I'm battling an autoimmune disease called lupus, and I've got a revolving door, unfortunately, on the hospital. And so that means that I can't always show up in the traditional sense of having a job or um, even creating, having an online business where I have to always be present in my business. So I've learned to kind of create passive income. What I found in talking to people is that the minute you say to them, oh, you know what, you could teach that, the first thing out of their mouth is, nobody's going to pay me for that. And that is absolutely not the truth. So I kind of want to get you guys to thinking outside of the box, so to speak. I want to get you to where you start thinking about the stuff that you know that you don't think that there's any value to, but there really is. So for example, if you're a natural extrovert, Introverts probably really want to be able to show up in a room and mingle and not feel intimidated um, and not feel like they are out of place. So guess what? You can teach people confidence. You can teach people how to show up in a room. You can teach people public speaking. Um, you can teach people how to host their own events, um, small events, large events, whatever those types of events are, you, you can teach that. I've got a whole list here of different things that I feel like you know people can, can teach. If you are looking for a platform and you want to learn how to teach online and you want all the tools and skills that are there and you want it for free, follow this lovely link that I have just put here on the screen. So one of the things that um, I've taught myself over the summer, I taught myself Adobe Illustrator and um, Photoshop. If you know how to do those things, guess what? People like me would love to hear from people like you. If you know how to sew, that's one of the things that I'm, I'm learning as well. And you know, there's a lot of different little segments even within that. Now, one of the things that I, I hear a lot, one of the objections that I hear a lot is, you can find that for free on YouTube. You can find that for free in a blog. You can find that for free. You can find that for free. You can find that for free. You can find a lot of stuff for free. There's not much on the internet these days that you can't find for free. But let me ask you this. How many times have you gone to YouTube or Google search or what have you, and you put in how to sew a button on? And what came up was not at all what you expected. You got folks out there talking about how to make buttons out of wax and how to build a button um, tree house and, you know, and how to make button art and this kind of stuff. That's not what you were looking for, right? So now you've wasted all of this time looking through all of this mess, this nonsense that you weren't really going to benefit from. But if someone created a course on that topic, Guess what? Everything you need is right there. It's convenient. It's concise. It's well put together and you're willing to pay for it because you, your time is, is not wasted in searching for stuff that doesn't matter. Right? So think of the things that you have paid for that have been more of a convenience and, and you could have found it for free. You could have got a discount on it. You know, think about those times that you went to Target instead of Walmart, even though you passed Walmart because you was like, mm, look at that parking lot. You know, it's going to be crazy in there, <laughs> but you're going to get a better experience. If you will, if you go to Target, even though you might pay a little bit more, right? 
So keep those things in mind when you start discounting what you won't be able to teach. So let me give you some ideas on things that you could teach if I haven't already. If you like to make jewelry, you can teach how to make jewelry. If you're an artsy person, you can teach painting, sewing, drawing. Um, you can teach um, how to create a t-shirt business, how to create a business with baby with, with Mickey Mouse ears or different headbands, um, video editing, um, podcast editing. Let's think. Um, I mean, really, the, the, the sky is the limit, guys, is basically what I'm saying to you. If you are a writer, I just shared, um, I was talking about this on Periscope, and I was sharing with a writer there all the different things that you can do that are writing based that are outside of writing, especially if you're a published author, you can tell, teach people how to get published. You can teach people how to write really good, um, self published books that get them looked at. You can teach them how to get on the best sellers list. You can teach them how to pick the best photos for their covers. You can teach them editing. You can teach them proofreading. Like the, the sky is the limit. Take what you know and break it down to the smallest things. And if you can get, five or six modules out of that, then guess what? You've got a course, okay? So don't discount the things that you know. So one of the things for me, like I like to write, I'm a content creator. Um, I've written articles for, you know, various magazines, online magazines. Um, when I was a teenager, I was, you know, written, I had an article in the Chicago Sun-Times. I was real proud of that when I was in the Air Force. I had a, an article written in the Air Force Times. So I've been creating content all my life. So one of the things that I created, because sometimes I just get a wild hair and I just want to write about random stuff, are my content vaults. So you can see that link that I just changed down below. And in the content vaults, basically I have a general vault, I have a health and um, lifestyle vault right now, and I have a curated recipe vault because for me, food is really important. Not that it's not important to other people, but I'm probably a little more anal than, than a lot of people because food for me is helping me deal with my with lupus, deal with my, my illness. So um, I've got a lot of stuff in there that I've researched, that I've written about the whole nine yards. And then I've got all these different recipes since I am plant-based that will make things easier for those of, the, those of us that are trying to venture over into that lifestyle. And then I do a weekly shopping list that goes with the, um, the weekly curated recipes. So the content vaults are something that at first I thought nobody's going to pay me for the, the nonsense that just happens between my ears. So I just kind of wrote stuff as therapy and put it away. And then after a while, I started realizing, you know what, people will pay me for that. So I went in and I made some of them real pretty and added, you know, lists and all this other good stuff. So let me show you what some of that looks like. So here's one of the uh, PDFs that's within one of the content vaults, or maybe it's not in a content vault, but this is just what it looks like. So you can kind of see, uh, you know, what I made them look like, how pretty they are. And, you know, and you can use these for podcasts, for downloadables, for giveaways, you know, the whole nine yards. But, you know, again, this is a course if I wanted to teach people even just how to um, make their giveaways look pretty. That's a course. I could teach them Canva. I could teach them Adobe Illustrator. I could teach them Photoshop. Um, I could teach a lot of different things just from that one skill set that I've got. So guys, don't discount what it is that you know. Um, let me see. I've got some, I've, I wrote a list here, so I'm just going to read down this list just in case you've got any of these skills that maybe this will get you to thinking. So I have on here painting, video editing, mingling. I like to socialize. Some people aren't very good at it. I could talk to a wall and have a great conversation, sadly. <laughs> so that's a skill that you can teach. Public speaking. Oh, traveling. For me, um, you know, I've got a few different things that I travel as, if you will. One, I'm traveling as a person. I, when I left the, the U.S., I left because the healthcare there sucked. So I'm traveling uh, for better health care. I'm a, fee a lone solo female traveler. That's something I could talk about. I'm black. That's something I could talk about. Um, if you have pets, traveling with pets is a different and unique type of challenge because there are some countries that if you don't declare your pet six months before you arrive, as soon as you get there, guess what? They euthanize your pet. They don't give a damn if it's a service animal or whatever. If you didn't go through the proper channels, guess what? 
your animal is done for. So traveling with pets is something that people know how need to know how to do. If you're traveling with small children, they don't euthanize them, just so y'all know. Um, but you need to know where to get them schooled, if they have health issues, that kind of thing. So you want to do that. I've got packing on here, gardening on here, parenting on here, languages on here, and I already mentioned sewing. So guys, there are so many different things that you can um, generate ideas from that will make you money. Don't discount what your skill set is. And if you work for someone else and you can't quite figure out why you work for that person and why they keep you on, I'll bet you we could take what you do for them and break it down into something that you could create a course on. So that is it for me. I will talk with you guys later. Again, if you want to learn how to create your own courses and learn how to do that effectively and efficiently, follow the link that is at the bottom of the screen here. And I look forward to seeing you guys next go round. Talk to you soon. Happy hump day. Ciao.